Okay, well, there <clears throat> is this uh, controversy about oxidation versus reduction in orthomolecular medicine right now. And there are people who would seem to imply that ozone and uh, peroxide uh, directly cure bugs, like they'll give intravenous ozone and peroxide. And they, you're, you're picturing that it, correct, it, it directly kills bugs inside the body. And I don't think that's what's happening. I think it stimulates uh, various components of the immune systems to somehow uh, fire up the immune system to kill the bugs. And so I don't detract from the treatments at all. I'm just criticizing the reasons because this then has gotten over into how ascorbate works. Now, the way a white cell kills a bacteria is in, in a process called a respiratory burst. The uh, white cell engulfs the virus, bacteria, fungus, or parasite in a vacuole, and then it takes O2 or molecular oxygen and reduces it with a hydrogen forming peroxide. And the peroxide joins with water uh, forming perox uh, peroxide, and then that peroxide joins with chlorine to form hypochlorous acid. And this is excreted then into the vacuole and kills the bacteria, fungus, or parasite. Now, uh, and then sometimes the white cell will like uh, let loose with a broadside against a cancer cell. And all this then, the killing power comes from this oxidation, which is originally formed by reduction, which is just the complete oxygen, but opposite. It's the reduction of oxygen. So there's some confusion about this. Now, when these oxidizing substances gets loose in the body, they cause inflammation, and that's when they're free radicals. And that's when the ascorbate as a reduction substance, substance neutralizes those free radicals and cuts down on the inflammation. I mean, the idea that you could give ozone and peroxide in concentrations sufficiently to directly kill the virus and bacteria within the body uh, just per se, I don't think is right. I say, as I say, I think it, it uh, stimulates the immune system somehow or other to do that. But the point is then that this has made it so that they think that, that uh, ascorbate then is an oxidizing substance, which it isn't per se. It is not an oxidizing substance, but it might provide the reducing power with which the white cells uh, then convert the molecular oxygen into superoxide and set this whole thing off.